To illustrate the use of running object snaps, I'm going to draw this top view of this bracket. And I'm going to draw it over here. I've already established a line that's three and a half inches long. So I know that the endpoints of this line will represent the location of the centers of these circles. Also, the midpoint of this line will represent uh, the midpoint or the center of these circles. So I'll start by going down to my object snaps. I'm going to right click and go to settings. I'm going to turn on endpoint, midpoint, center, and I'm going to turn on tangent. I also want this to be, my running object snaps to be on. So that now, once I start drawing, I'll get a circle, and I can snap to the endpoint of this line. My object snaps are turned on, and these object snaps will stay on. This is a radius of, a, of 5 eighths. I have another circle at this end that's the same size. I have another circle that would be at the midpoint of this line, and it has a radius of 1. At this point, I'm going to delete this line. And I know that concentric to these circles, I have some 5 inch, 5 8 inch diameter circles. So I'm going to get a circle, and now I'm going to snap to the center of this circle. And this is a diameter. So I'll say diameter of 5 8 And then another circle that will be at this center point, same size. I have a one inch hole that's concentric to this circle. So again, I can use a center here, and this is a one inch diameter. And then I have a one in and a half inch diameter circle. So I'll again snap to that center point. I'm going to uh, use a diameter again of 1.5. And I've created the basic parts of this. Now I need lines that will connect these circles together. And I need these to be tangent, these lines to be tangent to the circles. So we're going to zoom in. I'll get a line. And I want to start here tangent to this outside edge. And as I come over, I see I'm, I'm acquiring a center point for this circle, but I'm not acquiring a tangent. I can try using my tab, which would show me all of the object snaps that I have available, but I can't get it to start a tangent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the shift key and right click. This brings up my O snap override. And in this case, I want to activate tangent. Now, when I click on tangent, this will only find tangents and it will only do it one time. So I'm going to click here in this part after I see the tangent appear. And coming over here to this side, I don't see a tangent. I'm going to use a override again to establish that line. I need uh, another line over here doing the same thing. So I'll say line. I'm going to right click and use my tangent. And because I don't see tangent showing up as, as one of my options, even though it's turned on, I'm going to pick tangent again. and that establishes those two lines. Now these lines are going to be down here at the bottom also. So what I'm going to do is use a mirror command and choose these two lines. And now for my mirror line, I'm going to snap a line from the center point of this circle to the center point of this circle and then hit enter. So now it's just a case of trimming to establish my drawing of the bracket. So my use of running object snaps 
uh, allows me to quickly create this by snapping to the objects as I go. In fact, it allowed me to start a drawing by using a, a reference line that I could snap to. And my overrides allowed me to force an object snap or to use an object snap that I don't have turned on. 